Prime Minister Tong Lun Si Sulit has urged the public to help participate in fighting against illicit drugs, which is deemed an obstacle to socio-economic development and a serious threat to the country. The Premier made the call in his statement delivered on the occasion of the 29th International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking. The government organized a burning ceremony in Vientiane of drugs on Saturday with leaders and officials from the party and government, representatives of diplomatic corps, representatives of international organizations, and students all in attendance. <laughs> According to Prime Minister Tong Lun Si Sulit, it is an obstacle to national, social and economic development and an important source of crime and corruption, and not to mention a tremendous loss for drug victims and their families. According to the report by the Minister of Public Security, Major General Som Keo Silabong, more than 2,400 drugs-related cases have been cracked down on in the past year, with more than 3,500 suspects having been arrested, 77 of whom are foreigners. This involved the confiscation of more than 3 million methamphetamine tablets, or ATS, about 232 kilograms of heroin, about 39 kilograms of raw opium, more than 2,800 kilograms of dry cannabis, more than 150 kilograms of crystal amphetamines or ice, 6,690 kilograms of chemical precursors, and 1,105 kilograms of powder for mixing and producing drugs. <laughs> Prime Minister Tong Lun Si Sulit also thanked neighboring countries, international organizations, financial institutions, and internal and external entrepreneurs of the public and private sector for their support and assistance to the government in addressing the drug problem so far.